one of our tenants that we're evicting, who's batshit crazy, absolutely batshit crazy, was a part of the murder investigation of Natalie Holloway. Maybe that's why she's batshit crazy. I'm not sure I believe that. You don't believe it? No, I'm just saying I'm not sure if I believe it. You, you, that's, I compiled, I, I have in my phone compiled all the news articles. And here's why. All of them. All of them. Because <laughs> he, he threatened. He extensively researched this for years. He has every article. All of them. Spoon, the guy told us in an email, mm-hmm. and maybe you'll take this a little more serious after this, okay. that God killed his last landlord for trying to slander him. <laughs> then why are you even tempting all that? If God's involved, I might want to take a step back. No, it's because the guy was producing porn in Aruba. He was producing porn in Aruba. What? Natalie, he, he, he was known to be around Natalie Holloway and Jordan Vandersloot. He, they did an entire documentary on Natalie Holloway's disappearance from two different countries and interviewed him and both of them, the FBI, everything. He now, it's a very, very strange set of coincidences, but he's batshit fucking crazy. And the relevancy it's, to this conversation is because he's a he's um, one of your tenants. I feel he's like rich, I'm bad shit crazy. Rich. You, do you know who Reality Kings is? No. Yes. He does. <laughs> Who's that? It's a it's a reputable YouTube channel. No, it's it, it's one of the original porn producers. He was one of the original. I don't know if they're original. They, I mean, maybe for web. For web, yes. Yeah. He but he I was. I don't know if to tell you, but porn's been around since like a long time. I agree. He is one of the founding members of that. He got paid from it. He got made a lot of money from it. He's got a million dollar RV. Solid. And is fighting us in court and probably gonna try to go all the way to Texas Supreme Court to get evicted out of an RV park. And copy CC's emails, the entire, the judge, the the Maybe entire you law talk firm about and everything. It on a podcast, if it's a I don't. Thing. I don't. I don't. This is y'all, an ongoing y'all are sitting here right now. Spoon's trying to make light of it. No, I'm, I'm just trying you, to understand what we're talking about. Is well, this, when I walked into the office the other day, good luck. When I walked into the office the other day, they they start telling me about this dude and that he's appealing it. He's appealing, which do y'all know what it takes to appeal an eviction? Mm-hmm. What does it take? Follow the little packet they give you. That's not correct at all. But oh, it takes. You have to put up the bond that the court sets. Can we ask about that cattle again? No, I don't care. <laughs> just I just you, don't. You have to put up the bond that the court sets. So the bond is typically all your back rent and all your court costs. So whatever the judgment's for, you have to put up that bond. It's in cash. Okay? Now, you can file a pauper's bond, which is, I'm poor. I don't want to put a bond up. Or you have to pay it in cash. He paid it in cash and is taking it to the county court. He's the only tenant we've ever had request a jury trial. He went into a jury trial for an eviction, lost, put up like a $7,000 bond, and is now taking us to the county court, which will then, he'll appeal it to the district court. I don't know that he makes it into the appellant court, and he's repeatedly telling us that his last landlord, God wiped off the face of the earth. I I think that's a threat. I mean, it sounds like... It seems like a weird thing to bring up if he's really threatening. Yeah. What, one one what, thing I do you, think is funny, just I to don't know. pivot for a second, is we just had like a bunch of teenagers walk by, and they're all looking at us like they're like, who are these important people on stage no at Texas point. Stadium? They could not be and more wrong. luckily they couldn't I'm, hear anything. I'm, I'm fucking salty right now. Why, Why are you salty? salty? Yeah, I'm, I'm salty because this whole fucking deal. Spoon, if your family, if it, he... How did he word it, Braxton? Do you remember? Uh, God took the last landlord that was 38 yeah, with two threat. kids. 38 with two kids. It's a threat. Yeah, I get what you're saying. You don't get what I'm saying. If it was your family, it, I would have way more sympathy. You're sitting over there like, why would you know all this? Well, I Googled it. I Googled this cat. Yeah. Whenever he threatened us, I Googled him. I said, why would you know and, all this when and, you were talking once about I random him, things with Natalie Holloway, when we just transferred over from whatever other crazy? Well, I Googled we him, and he was about. a part of that you investigation. You describe Natalie how you did yesterday. Yes, I, that, was, that was the whole point. <laughs> that was the whole point. So y'all don't know who Natalie Holloway is, so it's irrelevant. <laughs> <laughs> but... but my, my point is, if this it guy's was, actively threatening you, why are we bringing up on live TV? What do I, Spoon? Is, if, if homie comes, if mm-hmm. homie shows up, homie can get what's coming to him. 
I'm not worried about don't, it. Don't say that on the internet. Yeah, that's a weird thing to say on the he internet. He doesn't know who I am. I'm not his landlord. You're Corey mother effing t- oh, well, If you're not even his landlord, why are we bringing it up? Because it's part of our property management. Oh, we, okay. we, we took over property management for a property. I'm, I'm 100% sure this is why. This guy's why. Oh. I thought you were saying it's one of your properties. That's, That's what I was, what like, I was thinking, too. Why are you too, yeah. talking about it? Then why, why do you need so much sympathy if it's not even... You're not even being threatened. Yeah. Um, well... By I, the way, by the way, I, I, love, honestly, I love you. I honestly want him to know who I am. I would much rather... If, if a motherfucker's going to show up to somebody's doorstep, I'd much rather it be mine. Some people aren't equipped but, for it. Well, time out. Don't you live in the middle of nowhere where you haven't locked your front door in probably like 10 years? And well, some a, people that's aren't also equipped a weird thing to for tell what people. will show up at your door. <laughs> what? It's true. He lives in the middle of nowhere. <laughs> Why would you say? When's the last time you locked your front door? I, every day. Do you really? Yeah. But you, you live in the middle of nowhere, too. Why do yeah. you lock your door? Because we lock our doors. Oh, I don't lock my doors. That's a weird thing to not do. Take that right. But, I mean, look, believe me, there's plenty enough in there if you want it. There's nothing of value, but if you come in, just come in. Just show up.